Okay, Ben. It was disturbing video that went viral last week showing an elderly man taking punches inside a Detroit nursing home. A 20-year-old man is now facing charges for the attack, but now Detroit police are investigating a second beating video. Victor Williams is live tonight. Uh, Victor, what are police saying about this new video? Well, they're looking into that second video to see if it's any type of connection with this man. But we talked to some other people that have loved ones in that same facility, and they're telling me that no one should have been in the position to be a victim in the first place. I, I couldn't believe it. I, I was just so disheartened. Tanisha Nelson was not only taken back the first time she saw the video of the disturbing assault on a 75 year old man, allegedly at the hands of 20 year old Jaden Hayden. She was also terrified for the life of her own son, also at the same facility, Westwood Rehabilitation Nursing Center. I just don't want anyone else to have to go through that. Her son has since been removed from the nursing home, but she's worried about other potential victims. An investigation has been opened up into Hayden's apparent YouTube channel where other videos have been posted of the 20 year old allegedly harming others. At this point, it's unclear if any of the other beatings were in the same facility, but state representative Leslie Love questions the decision to place Hayden in the same room with an older person to begin with. I think any dorm director at a college near you would think twice about putting a 20 year old and a 75 year old in the same room together. Wednesday, she spoke before a group of other politicians where she voiced her disgust on the situation, showing the graphic video. On top of that, Miss Nelson has other concerns about the way patients are handled. She says even though her son has MERS, a disease that's highly contagious, he wasn't placed alone. And my son should have been separate. In the meantime, both Miss Nelson and State Representative Love, or at least Happy Hayden, is behind bars, but wonders who else could have potentially fallen victim to this man. The investigation still underway. You want to make sure that environment is safe for our seniors. And Hayden is facing several assault charges along with theft of property. It's believed that he then took the victim's credit card and then went on some type of shopping spree. In the meantime, we are reporting live, Victor Williams, Local 4.